What do you do when your pet is injured in an automobile accident? That's our topic on this episode of State Law TV. My guest today is South Carolina personal injury attorney George Sink of George Sink Injury Lawyers. So George, welcome. Well, thank you, Cindy. I'm glad to be here. Well, George, for many, pets are an important part of the family, and a lot of people enjoy taking their pets with them when they go on the road. But what happens when your pet is injured or killed in an automobile accident? Well, if it's a fault of someone else, you can bring a claim for the loss. Unfortunately, it's a property damage claim. They consider non-humans, you know, a car, uh, a dog, property. So it's a property damage claim. So you ha if there's an at-fault driver, uh, you can bring a property damage claim against them. If it's your fault, uh, you may need some special insurance or other coverage. And George, what type of specific insurance will cover your pet's injuries? Well, Cindy, many companies have pet injury coverage, and that covers injuries to cats, dogs, animals uh, that you have, or the pets of people who live with you. It's special coverage that you can get from your insurance company, and you have to check with them to make sure it covers the appropriate animals and uh, the appropriate people. Okay, and when can you use it? Usually when you have, use your collision coverage, it usually pays for your vet bills, medical treatment, prescriptions, and other help that uh, an injured pet would require. George, how does pet injury coverage differ from regular pet insurance? Yes, Cindy. Pet injury coverage covers your pet when they're in an accident in your vehicle. Uh, pet insurance usually covers when they're sick or ill under a multitude of circumstances other than that. That's very interesting. George, what are some other tips that might help keep your pet safe in the event of an auto accident? Keep your pet out of the front seat. Now, I have my dog, Max, and he appears on all my Christmas cards, and he is always in the back seat, always. A tip that I don't follow, but might be good for other dogs uh, or cats, uh, especially, would be to keep them in a crate. They're very happy in a crate, believe it or not. They're denning animals originally. So they're very happy when that's the case. So you're making them happy and you're making them safe. And it really uh, allows them to stay in a safe place, maybe on the ground, so they, they're not, uh, they don't end up as projectiles and injure themselves. So those are some tips that I'd follow. Well, George, thank you for calling attention to something that is important to so many, the safety of their pets. Well, you're welcome, Cindy, and thank you for having me. I hope everyone out there has uh, the world of safety for their pets. I love them, and I know you do, too. Well, George, in your line of work handling accident and injury cases, you deal with insurance issues all the time. If someone has specific questions along these lines, how can they contact your firm? At 1-800-849-SYNC. That's 1-800-849-SYNC. You can call toll-free, or you can find us on the uh, Internet at www.synclaw.com. Thank you, George. Thank you for having me. This is Cindy Speaker reporting for State Law TV.